Hello, this is Andy Rumpel, and I am showing you how to do a street range search based on the information that we gathered from the Google Maps. Remember, we were on the Google Maps, and we were in the areas we wanted to buy in, and we went from one end of each street in the area to the other. We right-clicked on the end houses to see the range of property addresses. So for each street, we have a range of addresses for the neighborhood we're looking for. So this is the next step. I have the sheet of ranges of addresses in front of me. Um, over here we have the property information site. This is the site that you can search by address or address range, by owner name or by parcel number. In this operation we are searching by address and address range. We have open over here an Excel sheet on which we are going to capture the data that we discover over here. What we're doing is we'll type in a, well I'll just do one to show you. Search by address or address range, start. On my sheet there are a list of streets with the address ranges and one of them just happens to be 5407 Lambert Street to 5799 Lambert Street. So what we will do is we'll type in those two numbers, 5407 and 5799, street name Lambert. So when we search, we get the owners you know, on just that section of the street that we were looking for. Sometimes the street will be really, really long, and then this will scroll down further. What we're trying to do is determine who might be behind on their property tax payments. So generally, we will have a bunch of numbers that are sort of around the same number, like here's 500, 300, 400, then boom, one sticks out. This one here might be someone that's behind a payment or two. Someone behind a payment or two is a good prospect to send a card or a letter to because if someone's not paying their property taxes on time perhaps they might want to sell their property for some reason. So to capture this all you want to do is cover this or select it. Once you have that record selected right click, copy, then go over to the spreadsheet we're using remove this very last one we did to make room. And then on the spreadsheet you're using, paste. And then you can see we have the record. So that was one range. Oh yeah, we have the drop down. We'll go down and as you can see on the drop down there's nothing further to investigate. So we'll hit search again. We'll go to the next line on the paper. It's off the screen, but it's a paper of the list of the streets and the address ranges. The next one is 5700 Grafton to 5899 Grafton. So 5700 to 5899 Grafton, G-R-A-F. Now, as you can see, this is time-consuming. Getting a VA to do this for you or a friend that'll, that will work cheap. This is very easy work, but it's time-consuming. And um, this is perfect for a VA. Okay, no records found. I might have got the street name wrong or something. I'm going to skip down just for purposes of showing you. The next range is 5839 Howard to 5999 Howard. 5999 Howard. In this one, there's just one record, and by doing some other streets, we know that 361 is an amount where they are probably 
current. So we search again. 1220 Whitcomb to 1451 Whitcomb. Now this is a larger street. So you see we have the scroll over here. We are going to have a lot of records. So start at the top. Do your thing. Everything due here is under a thousand. We'll page down. Everything there is under a thousand. And then boom, one sticks out. That's a big amount. So let's go ahead and grab it. Select, right click, copy, over to our spreadsheet, right click, paste, and then we have Adam Bailey's record. Keep going. Here's one that's a very high number. Most likely this is a business, so skip over that unless you're unless of course you're looking for businesses. But we are going to skip that because the amount of tax owed is way over the value of the property in the area that we're looking at. So continue. We continue to have a lot of records where it appears that everyone is caught up on the taxes. Here's one that sticks out a little bit, 1500. They're not very far behind, but even a little bit behind might be a good lead for us. So we'll cover this. Now whenever the name is long, sometimes it messes up our spreadsheet. I'll show you what I'm, I mean. We'll do a copy, and we go over here and paste. That one did just fine. Sometimes when the name is long, it will throw this off. If that happens, only copy these four and paste, and then just type the name in. So let's continue over here. Still a bunch of small numbers. There's a 1086. That's borderline. But when it's borderline, I like to capture it because if it's a chance of being a lead, it might make us some money. So we copy that back over here. Paste. Now a word on the spreadsheet. Right now we are capturing the parcel number, how much is owed, the address of the house, and the owner name. Later on, we will come back to this sheet by the parcel number, we'll go to a different site and look up the owner's address. And we will put the owner's address out over here. And then we will have sufficient information to do a mailer, a card, a letter, or however you want to contact the owner. All of this can be done with a virtual assistant or with someone that, like if you have a relative or someone that wants to work for cheap, it's really easy work, it's just time consuming. But when you're done, you'll have a list of people in the neighborhoods you're looking for who are behind on their tax payment. That's a good list for possibly motivated sellers. Okay, back over. We'll finish out this street. 20, 2404, that's a good one. see that's American Residential Leasing Company LLC. Just because something's an LLC doesn't mean we're not going to send to them. A lot of times LLCs own more than one house and they can be a really good contact because if they're selling one house sometimes they're selling 10 or 20. So let's go ahead and cover this. 
this one might give us a problem on the spreadsheet because it's long. We'll see in a second. No, great. It filled just fine. So that's how we do it. So this is the step after you have the address ranges of actually looking up the address ranges, finding the amounts that stick out, and then transferring them over to the spreadsheet.